Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Come on, church. How great thou art. Help me worship him. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Glory to God. How great thou art. How great thou art. Let's sing it, O oh Lord, my God. O oh Lord, my God, mighty God. When I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made. Thank you, Jesus. I see the stars. I hear the rolling thunder. Your power throughout universe display sing it with me this morning then sings my soul my savior God to thee with a God we serve how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art and when i think and when i think that god his son not sparing sent him to die i scarce can take it in that on the old rugged cross that on a cross my burdens gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sins. Sing it, church. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. Come on, help me worship him this morning. How great thou art. How great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. I love this one. When Christ shall come, with shout of acclamation, and take me home, with joy shall fill my heart. Then I shall bow, in humble adoration and there proclaim my god how great thou art singing with everything this morning then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my Savior God to thee how great thou art how great thou art God is able to do just what he said he would do he's gonna fulfill he's gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on him saints don't give up on God Cause he won't give up on you He's able to sing Oh, oh, oh He's able, he's able Oh, oh, oh God is able God is able to do Just what he said he would do gonna fulfill every promise to you don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he's able oh 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 he's able he's able oh 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 
God is able, God is able to do just what he said he would do. He is going to fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able, oh, 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 oh. He's able, he's able, oh, 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 tell him he's able, come on, cause he's able, 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 he's able. He's able, 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 he's able. Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let the presence of the Holy Ghost fill somebody's home. Somebody who needs a peace of mind. Someone who needs rest in their spirit. Your word says, come unto me all you that labor and heavy laden. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest under your souls. Give your people rest, Lord. Refresh your people this morning. You said times of refreshing will come from the presence of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Praise be to God. Listen, the word of the Lord for your life this morning is never, ever, give up. Sometimes we stop too short. Sometimes we give up too quickly. You've got to be aggressive in your faith. The Bible says if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Come on, somebody. Don't be quick to throw the towel in. Don't be quick to take no for an answer. Don't be quick to just get impatient and give up. That's what the devil wants you to do. Don't do it, saints. Don't give in to it. It's a spirit. Don't give in to it. Don't let go of your faith. Keep on hanging in there. Keep on asking. Keep on knocking. Keep on seeking because sooner or later, God is going to answer your prayer. This brings us to the book of Luke chapter 18, verse 1 through 8, and then we may go into Luke 11, 5 through 8. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Men ought always to pray and not to give up. Don't be quick to give up. Saying, there was in a city a judge which fed not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Avenge me. This, there was a widow woman. There was a widow here, and then there was a judge. This was an unjust judge. He wasn't fair at all. He didn't fear God. He was wicked. He didn't fear God. Neither did he study, neither did he regard man. He didn't care less who you are. He was just going to do his own thing. And there was a widow. <laughs> I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. There was a widow in that city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Give me justice. We just shared how a friend of ours is now having access to their kid. Praise God. The judge ruled in their favor. He turned the table. Come on, somebody. 
God is able. And these folk did not give up. They fasted. They prayed. They had a lot of people standing with them. We were standing with them, not just us, other people. They themselves are people of faith. They would call us often, and we would encourage them and say, God is going to turn it. He is going to do it. And glory to God, the answer is here. My, my, my. I'm encouraged over that. That means I'm next in line. <laughs> that means I'm next in line for a miracle. I'm next in line for a breakthrough. If he did it for our friends, that means whatever I'm praying about, God's about to do something for us too. Come on, somebody. We stood with them. So I must be next in line. Glory to God. And the Bible says, she came to him and said, look, I need justice. I need you to do something about my, my situation. And he would not for a while that that's the part that's that's where we that's where a lot of people give up and lose hope when it's taking a while they are praying they are believing and it's taking a while so guess what they say you know what this ain't worth it oh the devil is a lie it absolutely is worth it can you imagine if our friends were to throw the towel in and gave up they would have lost, but they refused. <laughs> they, they, they were discouraged sometimes, but they hung in there. It was hurtful, but we kept encouraging them. They stuck in there. They hung in there. They dug, they dug their Holy Ghost heels in. Glory to God. Watch this. And he would not, he, this judge didn't even study this woman for a while. There's always that, that period of waiting. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. There is always that period where you got to wait. You have to wait on God. But afterward, that's, that's, that's the breakthrough moment. But afterward, that, that's, see, you got to hang around for that afterward. Most people don't hang around for afterward. You got to hang on until you get to afterward. He would not for a while, but afterward. <laughs> There's a transition in that sentence. He would not for a while, but afterward. He said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubleth me. I will avenge her lest by her continual coming she weary me. If I don't give this woman what she want, she gonna just flat wear me out. Now you can't wear God out, but he's making a point here. And then Jesus said, and the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge said. Did you hear what this wicked, rotten judge said? Even this wicked judge, he was moved to do something for this woman because of her persistence, because of her aggressive faith, because of her determination, because she refused to give up. She refused to take no for an answer. She refused to quit. The unjust judge said, I got to do something for this woman. And Jesus said, and shall not God, verse 7, and shall not God, who is a just judge, who is a loving, not only judge, he is our king, not only king, he is our father, we are his children, and shall not God avenge his own elect, his own chosen, which cry day and night unto him, though he watch this, though he bear long with them because there is that that's it he bears long with us sometimes you got to wait long before those prayers are answered now in peter's situation he was sinking but you couldn't jesus couldn't wait long he had to deliver peter right then lord save me he grabbed him and pulled him up but there's that season like Abraham and Sarah. Ah, they had to wait 25 years before little Isaac came along. But he was well worth the wait, darling. Come on, somebody. I said he was well. The wait was worth it. 
Sometimes God is cooking. He is baking them prayers. Come on, somebody. You know if you take the cake out of the oven before time, it's going to be jacked up pretty bad. But God's, your prayers are baking. Come on, somebody. It's in the oven. Your prayers are rising. <laughs> it's almost done. Just hang in there. Hang in there. Come on, somebody. Even the natural situation is talking to us. Jesus said, I tell you, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, is he going to, shall he find faith on the earth? He said, I'm looking for this kind of faith. I'm looking for the faith that refuses to take no for an answer. I'm looking for the kind of faith that refuses to give up. I'm looking for the kind of faith that refuses to and just throw the towel in and say, it ain't worth it. And then he goes on in the book of Luke chapter 11, verse 5 through 8, and gives another story very similar. And he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loaves. Pay attention to this. For a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And Jesus said, and he from within shall answer and say, trouble me not. The door is now shut and my children are with me in bed. I cannot arise and give thee. Listen to what Jesus said. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend. Jesus said sometimes the relationship being got nothing to do with it. It has everything to do with faith. Though... I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he need. The word importunity right there means shameless persistence. You ain't got no shame about it. I'm talking to God about it Monday through Sunday or Sunday through, come on, Sunday through next Sunday. I'm Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. From January through December, I'm going to keep talking to God about it until the prayer is answered. Do we have any folk tuning into this broadcast right now that have determination, that have that dogged fate, that have a pit bull tenacity, that say, I ain't going to give up until the answer come. Abraham and Sarah knocked for 25 years. And at the 25th year, little baby Isaac, a bunksing, handsome baby boy, God gave him the Sarah and Abraham. She was past the age of childbearing. But God, is there anything too hard for the Lord? There is absolutely nothing too hard for God. I'm talking to somebody this morning, and the Holy Ghost is saying to you, never, ever give up. Your prayers are going to be answered. God has heard your prayer. You just got to be patient. As sure as night follows day, the answer is on the way. I said the answer is on the way. Some of you give up way too quickly. Some of you give up much too soon. And God is saying, do not give up. Do not let go of your faith. Your prayers are working. Your prayers have God's attention. He said, everyone who asketh, receive it. And to him who seeks, find, and to the person who knocks, the door shall be open. And that includes you. Your answer is on the way. Never give up. Are you listening to me? I surrender all. I want to give someone a chance. You've been tuning into this broadcast, but you have not yet surrendered your life to Jesus. He loves you this morning. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He loves you, saints. He's calling you to himself. And without any hesitation, bow your head in reverence to God and say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I repent of all of my sins. 
I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. He died on Calvary Cross for me. They buried him in a borrowed tomb. But on the third day, you raise him from the dead. Jesus is now seated at your right hand. And from this day, I accept him as Lord and Savior of my life. From this day, I turn my back on the world, the flesh, and the devil to serve the true and living God and his son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Listen to me, friends. If you prayed that prayer with me and meant it with all of your heart, let me and Pastor Amy be the first to say to you, welcome into the family of God. We encourage you to type below this video right now, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. I want you to type below this video right now, I've just surrendered my life to Jesus. You are saved. Your sins are forgiven. Your name has been written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. And we have created a booklet for you. It's called First Steps in a New Direction. Now that you are saved, we encourage you to download that book. You need to read your Bible. Just like food is, you got to eat to survive. That baby has to drink the bottle to grow and develop. That's what the Word of God does, does for us as Christians. It helps us to grow. It helps us to develop spiritually. You have to eat. We encourage you to download our ministry app. We have many different translations of the Bible. We encourage you to begin to read the Gospel of John. Use one of the translations of the Bible that's easy to read and understand. And God will use that Word to speak to you to strengthen you, to encourage you, and to direct you. Are you listening to me? And also we encourage you to pray. Prayer is simply talking to God. And whenever you talk to him at the end of that conversation, you say, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. Bring all of your trouble to him. He said, casting all your cares on him for he cares for you. He loves you with an everlasting love and he has an amazing plan for your life. Download that booklet. If you live in the DFW area, we encourage you to join us at Miracle Healing Center Church. It's right here in the city of McKinney, 1351 South Harden Boulevard, McKinney, Texas, 75071. We are using the Cockrell Middle School right here in the city of McKinney, Texas. We invite you to join us Sundays, 10 a.m. At Central Standard Time, the power of God is moving. The Holy Spirit's moving. People are being healed. People are being saved. People are being delivered and set free by the power of God. And we say to God be the glory. Only Jesus can do that. It's not Pastor Sean. It's not Pastor Amy. It's the work of the Lord Jesus Christ. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He made a way. Listen, we also want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. To do this, visit us online right now at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give to this ministry through the ministry app. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash seanpinder ministries. You can also give through the Ministry Zell account. The Ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. Info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the Ministry Cash App account. The Ministry Cash App address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number. 45888 and a link will automatically 
be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 75070. Make sure I share these broadcasts with some of your friends. Share it with your family members. Send it through WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, Facebook Messenger. Text the link to them. Share this video with someone who need a word from God. Never forget me and my beautiful wife, Pastor Amy. We love you. We appreciate you. We'll never take you for granted. Until then, we'll see you again on tomorrow on another morning prayer broadcast. God bless you. Bye-bye. We invite you to join our new church, Miracle Healing Center, on Sundays at 10 a.m. at the Cockrell Middle School in McKinney, Texas, with Pastor Sean and Amy Pinder. We welcome people of all ages and backgrounds to come and experience God's love and power, as well as join us as we fulfill the Great Commission, preaching the gospel to the lost and demonstrating God's power. Plan your visit today. Visit MiracleHealingCenter.net. We can't wait to meet you. From the author of Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks comes an inspiring new book about living an undefeated life through Christ. The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Combining biblical insight and real-world experience, Pastor Sean Pinner unpacks practical truths and encouragements that will prepare you for your next battle and help you win the one you are currently in. Somebody shout! The harder the battle, the sweeter the victory! Warfare is an inevitable aspect of any Christian life, but the fight you face does not have to destroy you. You cannot avoid your battles, but you can make the most of them. Learn how to approach your battles correctly and gain peace, understanding, strength, and ultimate victory. Order The Harder the Battle, The Sweeter the Victory today. Available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Don't merely survive your battles, learn how to thrive. It's here, the book we've been waiting for, Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks to Us, a complete guide to hearing God. Pastor Sean Pinner gives readers life-changing keys on exploring, understanding, and experiencing the voice of God, which every believer can hear on a daily basis. Packed with powerful revelations, this book shares the methods, means, and motivations for the voice of God, and provide answers to questions like how to hear God, recognize His voice, tap into His guidance, and much more. Receive confidence on hearing God through the Word, dreams and visions, divine impressions, and more. And discover a much deeper and more intimate walk with the Lord. Order Seven Ways the Holy Spirit Speaks Today, available on Amazon and all major book suppliers. Your journey into the powerful realms of God's voice starts here.